Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So the weekly security fixes have finally arrived in Microsoft Edge. So to check we have the update, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And the browser version now has bumped up to 135.0.3179.85 and that's moved up from 0.73. Now first of all, and as always, we have various bugs and performance issues that have been squashed. So that's basically the norm that rolls out with every update. And then the update will also include the two security fixes that rolled out for Google Chrome earlier this week and the Chromium-based web browsers. And just a quick recap, if you missed those previous videos, there is a critical flaw which has been patched, which is quite important because that's your highest rated vulnerability, which is CVE 20253619 heap buffer overflow in codex. And then there's also a high severity, which is ranked just below critical, listed as use after free in USB. So an important update rolling out for the Chromium open source project, which the browser is based on. And although that critical vulnerability is ranked as your highest level when it comes to vulnerabilities, no mention that it's a zero day. And there is a possible reason that there is no mention that it's a zero day is because a zero day exploited in the wild is currently out there active and happening. So it could be that uh, the Chromium team is not mentioning that it's a zero day because Obviously, they don't want the information to get into the wrong hands. But nonetheless, critical and high severity vulnerabilities have been patched. And we get no edge-specific browser security updates with this latest point release. Now, over and above the security fixes, we get some bug fixes that Microsoft has rolled out. The first is they fixed an issue which caused the first run experience page. That's that welcome page you'll see um, when installing the browser to open and fail with an error message page that didn't close so that's been fixed and then they fixed an issue which may have caused the copilot icon yet to the top right on the toolbar to disappear so just two niggly issues microsoft has also patched and squashed with this latest security point release and over and above that i haven't noticed any new tweaks and adjustments and front-facing features, just bug fixes and those security patches that have rolled out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.